If only we could order life the way we order gourmet coffee. Yes, I'll have a tall, extra hot cup of adventure, cut all the dangers with two shots of good health. Or I'll have a decaf skinny latte with a sprinkle of fertility, go heavy on the agility and cut out all the disability. Or I'll go with a grande happy latte with a dollop of love sprinkled with Caribbean retirement. Mm. But the truth is, life usually hands us a concoction entirely different from the one we requested. Well, life comes caffeinated with surprises. You move down the ladder, out of the house, over for the new guy, up through the system. Some changes welcome, others not. And in those rare occasions when you think the world has settled down, just watch out. On our list of fears, the fear of what's next demands a prominent position. We might request a decaffeinated life, but, but we just don't get it. The heroes in the Bible, they didn't either. But look closer at what God did and does provide. He provides His presence. You see, when God calls us into the deep valley of death, He promises to be with us. Dare we think that He would abandon us in the moment of death? Would a, would a father force his child to swim the deep alone? Would a shepherd require his, his sheep to journey the highlands alone? Uh, of course not. Friend, here's the point. God is with you. God is with you. And what God said to Moses in, in Exodus 33 and verse 14, he says to you, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And what God said to Jacob in, in Genesis 28, 15, he says to you, I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go. What God said to Joshua in Joshua 1, 5, he says to you, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will never leave you or forsake you. What God said to the nation of Israel, as recorded in Isaiah 43, 2, He says to you, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. My friend, my friend, the good shepherd is with you. And because he is with you, you can say what David said, I'll fear no evil, for you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Fear may fill your world, but it doesn't have to fill your heart. God doesn't give us a telescope into tomorrow, so, so why bother looking? He promises a lamp into our feet, not a crystal ball into the future. What worries are weighing you down right now? Carrying such a heavy load is, is no way to live, but boy, it's a good way to die. So when fear comes knocking at your door, I encourage you, just send it packing. Call on the Good Shepherd. He invites you, even now, right now, to lay down your fears, your, your sleepless nights your panic-induced headaches, your anxiety, your worry, and all that comes with it. You can fear less tomorrow than you do today. Yes, you, you, you can live a fearless life.